Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-22 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress. And the book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the metal stud punch is subjected to force of 120 Newton on the handle. Determine the magnitude of reactive force at pin A and in short link BC. Also, determine the internal result loading acting on the cross section passing through handle arm at D so you can see 120 Newton load is applied on handle and we have to find the reaction force at the pin as well as in link BC and then at point D we have to find the internal loading so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this uh, link at point uh, if you remove this link bc so there will be a reaction force at point b let this uh, force is fbc and if you remove this pin support at point a so you will be having a reaction force horizontal which is ax and there will be a vertical reaction force which is represented as ay now you can find the uh, this reaction force by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all force sum of all moments about point a is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so from here you can see that this this angle is 60 degree clear this angle is 60 degree so this will be 30 degree and if i draw a line like this so this angle will be also 30 degree now fbc have two uh, two component one is this x component and other is this y component clear so we can also represent this component like this this will be fbc y component and this will be fbc x component okay so about point a the one moment is produced due to this 120 newton load and perpendicular distance is 500 millimeter and that is 0 0.5 meter and this will produce clockwise rotation so it will be negative so i will write it first 120 into 500 and that is negative the second moment is produced due to this component of fbc x component there and perpendicular distance is you can see that is 50 millimeter and this is producing clockwise movement so it will be positive the vertical component is passing through a it is not producing movement so i will write plus fbc into x multiply by 50 is equal to zero so minus 120 into 500 and fbc FBCX is equal to FBC into cos of 30 degree. FBC into cos of 30 degree multiplied by 50 is equal to 0. So from here you will get this FBC will be equal to 1385.6 Newton R. You can say 138. we will get if you round it to so 1.39 kilo newton so this is the value of fbc so in first uh, part we have find out the for magnitude of force in short link bc which is fbc now we will move toward finding ax and ay for that we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see vertically we have this one force a y clear the second one is this force f b y b c and we will take the uh, vertical component of this so let me first define the vertical component if i draw a vertical line over here so you can see this angle is 30 degree how this line is perpendicular okay you can see that the angle between these two line is 30 degree and this line is perpendicular to 
this clear and this vertical line is perpendicular to this line so the angle between these two will be also 30 degree so now this 120 will have two component one is this component and other one is this component so this component is equal to 120 120 into sine of 30 degree and this component will be 120 into cos of 30 degree so now you can see this is the vertical force this is the vertical force and this is the vertical force and their sum must be equal to zero so i will write minus fbc fbc is 1385.6 plus ay which is upward minus this component which is 120 into cos of 30 degree their sum must be equal to zero so from here when you calculate it you will get ay will be equal to 1489.56 newton or you can see 1.5 kilo newton so this is the vertical component of reaction force at point a now we'll fi find this ax by using another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along x direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see we have one force which is ax and other one is this component their sum must be equal to zero so i will write minus ax plus one two zero into sine of 30 is degree is equal to zero so from here you will get ax will be equal to 60 newton so this is the answer of our first part in which we have been asked to determine the magnitude of reactive force at pin a and short link bc now the resultant of this horizontal and vertical force will be can be obtained by using Pythagoras theorem and let this is reaction force A or FA. So we can find this FA reactive force at pin A will be equal to AX square plus AY square under the root. So put the value AX is 60 square plus AY is 1489.56 square under the root so here when you calculate it will be 1491 newton or you can see that force at point a will be equal to 1.49 kilo newton okay now in second part we have been asked to determine the internal loading acting on cross section passing through handle arm at d so for that we will cut the beam over here at d and we will draw the free body diagram so free body diagram will be like this one so let this is the handle portion okay and then you have let me correct it and then at point D so D is sorry this one D is this one so when you cut it you will get it like this okay so here you can see you have 120 Newton force that is acting perpendicular to this surface 120 Newton and at point D when you cut it you will be having a shear force which is this is point D which is equal to VD you will be having a normal force which is equal to ND and you will be having a moment which is equal to MD so how you will get the distance between this and the point of application of 120 load is given as 300 millimeter
now you can see we have to change the coordinates so what we will take is that we will take this x coordinate in this direction because here we have normal load and the shear force will be in this direction this is y dash so we will apply equation of equilibrium that first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all forces along x dash must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see one force is this one which is nd and the second force which is this one their sum must be equal to zero so i will write nd minus 120 is equal to zero so nd will be equal to 120 newton now we'll find the second force that is vd so for that we will apply equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y dash direction must be equal to zero and force in this direction is taken as positive so you can see along this we have one force is vd and there is no other force so it means that only vd so vd is equal to zero okay we will find this moment md by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all moments about point d is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about this point d one moment is this md which is counterclockwise so it will be positive the second moment will be at point d will be due to this 120 and perpendicular distance is this one which in meter is 0 0.3 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write md minus 120 into perpendicular distance is 0 0.3 meter is equal to zero so when you calculate it you will get moment about point d comes out to be 36 newton into meter so these are nd vd and md are internal loading at point d and that is the answer of our second part and this was all about this problem 1-22 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then i will request them to subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching